Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be discussing stock market analysis with Python and I'm Divya Thakur. Now what are stocks and what are bonds? So stocks is something that a person invests money into and gains an ownership or share of that particular company or institution. While bonds are something in which a person tends a loan to the company or institution and in lieu of that gets a monthly or an annual based interest. So he gives the money to the company and gets interest upon it. But here the person is not getting any kind of interest instead is having some share or ownership of the company. Now stocks means that there is dividend as the return and in bonds there is interest on the return. In return guarantee in bonds is there but in stocks is not there. Stocks let a person to have the voting rights in the company while in bonds preferential treatment are given only when the bond matures. So if you are letting your money put into that company for like 10 or 20 years and you let your money be in that company for that duration only then you're gonna be letting these uh, benefits provided by the company when your bond matures. So today we are gonna be doing stock analysis a hands-on exercise on that with Python. So step one is to collect the data of the companies to analyze their stocks. So we'll be seeing how to import the data set. Secondly, we'll be doing resampling of the data in terms of month, in terms of quarters or yearly. Then I'll be showing you moving windows. That is how the stock did with respect to a duration of time, like weekly, then monthly and so on. And finally, we'll talk about volatility of stocks in a company, which stock uh, is more stable and which is more volatile and so on. So the first step is to collect the data for stocks and you can find the stock data on Yahoo Finance or Finance at Google. So let's see that in a moment. So if you would type in Yahoo Finance and click on the first link and search for companies. Now companies all have three letter abbreviations. So for example, I want to search for the stocks of Intel that is a hardware based company. So it's given an abbreviation of INTC. So three letter, four letter of abbreviations. And let's see its stock. So it's doing positive. And this is the summary of the day's range, the 52 week range and so on. So we'll go to the uh, historical data. So click on historical data and you will see that these uh, are five or six columns in number. So it shows you the volume of the stocks being traded on that particular day. Okay, and what was the opening price? What was the highest price of the day? The lowest price of the day at which the stocks were traded? The closing price and then adjusted closing price of the day for one stock. Okay, so likewise we can have the data for many, many years. So for example, let me have this data from 2000 till today okay so you can go and see so let me simplify it for you let me also do it 2001 okay done and let's apply this and you're gonna see that all the data is so available and these are the five columns that we'll operate on 
and this is the date which we'll treat as index so you can download this data from over here and save it as a csv file in your respective folder so see it's a comma separated uh, version of the file that you can save so i have uh, taken hardware companies into account and saved the data for AMD. So this is how it looks like. So here's the date, open, high, low, close, adjusted, close, and volume of the data. So if you have to import the CSV, the format is simple, just import the pandas library, and then use the pd.readcsv method and use the name amd.csv to call the file and store it in the variable amd so let me run this cell for you but if you did this simply and let's see uh, three rows of this data set so three rows of this data set is giving me that date is being treated as a column not as index so for that when you are uh, reading the CSV file, then only pass that header is zero. That is, uh, the first column is my index. So index column name is date, the first column, and parse dates. Okay, so this thing ensures that date is your index, and uh, uh, these dates are treated as dates only as date indexes so let's run this and then see what are the three rows now so you can see that these dates are now being treated as our indices now let's also observe the last three rows of our data set so i have taken this data set from 2003 beginning uh, the december 2003 and it ends on September 13th, 2019. So another way of importing data set, if you don't want to go in and download the CSV files yourself, is simply to use this library, which is pandas underscore data reader. So for that, it does not come pre-installed with Anaconda. So you have to install it using pip or conda. Here I'm using pip. Pandas underscore data reader has been uh, downloaded successfully. Now I'm importing this package and aliasing PDR to it. Also, I'm importing the date time package, which comes inbuilt installed into Anaconda. So I have taken these hardware companies into account. AMD's data I have taken as CSV. Now I am taking NVIDIA's data, Qualcomm's, Intel's and IBM's data into account. Now I am using the function get data Yahoo. So as you have seen, Yahoo Finance is a number of data. So it's a method to get that data from Yahoo Finance. So it's a method get underscore data underscore Yahoo. And uh, we are giving these aliases NVIDIA. Qcom, INTC, and IBM to signify which company's data has to be taken out. Then we are giving a start and an end date using the date time function, date time dot date time. And I'm passing this year, then month, and then the day. So I have taken it from 2004 January till 15th of September 2019. For all these companies so let me run all this now let's see if this library has correctly stored this data as data frame or not as pandas data frame or not so indeed it's stored in pandas core dot frame dot data which is the same as the type of our AMD data Okay, so let's uh, see for our own um, satisfaction the number of 
the two rows in NVDA. So it has passed dates as indices on its own. We just had to mention the start and the end date. And all these columns are also here, high, low, open, close, volume, and adjusted close. Same you can try for IBM's data. Now let's describe one of these data. Let's see the summary stats of all this. So 3,953 stocks have been traded all in IBM. And this is the mean of these stocks of high, of lows, of open. And then 25%, that is the first quartile, the second quartile, and the third quartile. So 50% of the data has been traded for 141 or less. This is the highest for one stock of IBM. And maximum has been 215, the highest. Now let's see how many columns a data set has. So it was not uh, that tough to calculate, but still. So this is the name, high, low, open, close, volume, and adjusted close. And the data type is object. Now the indices are all date time indexes. And you can check it out for AMD as well. And so date time indexes. And the shape of this is we have 3,953 rows and six columns. So time series data is a sequence of numerical data points taken at successively equally spaced points in time. So we have data of every day, that is uh, on every day what happened to the stock, at how much amount it traded and so on. So in investing, that is in stock marketing, a time series tracks the movement of stock price over a specified period of time. That is daily, weekly, monthly, annually, and so on. So let's see this time series data in the form of a plot. For that, we'll have to import this matplotlib.pyplot library. I'm giving it an alias of plt and also passing in this magic command matplotlib inline that makes sure that our plots or graphs are embedded in the notebook. So let me run this. Now let me comment this out and I'll explain you later what all this means. So let's simply plot the dates and the adjusted close of stocks per day. And we have a plot. So you can see that this is the stock prices and this is the annual prices. So now uh, what I have done is it has for by itself uh, removed the 2005, removed 2007 and adjusted the data. But what if we want to see every year's data as a line plot? For that I am choosing the major for matter as yearly and I'm setting this on my x-axis. Also I'm making sure that the data is arranged according to years. So locate year on my x-axis. Now this all can be done using date for matter and year locator. That are the functions that I've called on this matplotlib.dates. So let me run this. So as to make sure that we have this uh, module and our module is having these functions that are running correctly. And uh, to see any value more clearly that when did the stock dip down and how much did it rise, it's good to have grids, all right, to see uh, this kind of information. So let me run this. So yearly data is being shown now. But it's hard to read. For that, we'll have to move the x sticks to 90 degree so that it becomes clear to read on x axis. So now it's clear. So it's showing annual data from 2004 to 2019. And $80 is how much this traded till 2009, then took a deep for the Great Recession. And then 
it did successfully well and traded at 160 the highest in 2013 and 14 then again took dips and now is trading consistently at 140 so similarly you can plot graphs for uh, other companies as well so for that you'll be needing subplots and i've arranged the subplots like 2 comma 2 that is there are two rows and two columns so i have four companies and i've i'll be arranging their graphs like this and the figure size of each graph should be 10 in length and 10 in height and they are sharing the x-axis so i've again set my x-axis major formatted as yearly and also made sure that uh, your values are displayed on the x-axis now on the each subplot that is ax 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 I'm plotting the NVIDIA's index, uh, Intel's index and so on, along with their adjusted close values. Now I'm giving them a color of red, green, blue, and yellow. I'm setting the grid to be true and rotating also the tick parameters. So this is a new function for subplots. Instead of X ticks, it's tick params and label rotation is 90 degree. I'm also giving them a title of NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm, and so on. So let's see. And instead of using plt.show, I'm just using a semicolon. That also works fine. So these are the graphs, as you can see. And they are sharing their x-axis. So this, these are the labels. And you can see how much dip they took. So AMD took its dip in 2006 to 2008. Uh, Qualcomm remained fairly good enough during that time and nvidia traded it slow also during the time so did intel and now they have risen during 2018 and onwards and amd was it was at its best in 2006 so this is how you can visualize the time series data